your hands to your chair, and we're just gonna stretch the top of the foot. So you just flip one foot over underneath your chair, tops of your toes on the floor, trying to get tops of toes. That can be quite intense. So you get a foot cramp, just come out, try again. But if you get the tops of your toes down, you're then pushing down, and maybe even rolling back and forth. Other side. And we we're just going to do a little bit of standing today. So we're just going to prepare to stand little heel marches, just lifting your heels up. This is a great one to do. Um, or getting ready to stand if you've been sitting for a while. And you, you guys ever get dizzy when you get up too quick or whatever? This one just gets the blood moving, so that can help prevent that. Heel marches. And then sitting up tall, ribs away from thighs, hold onto your chair, knee marches. And we're going to do up downs today. We're going to do 10. That's just literally standing up. Sit down 10 times. The 10th time will stay up. So you can modify by not doing it all 10 times uh, or make it harder by not sitting down in between. All right, here we go. Two feet down. Pinch forward, bring your hands behind you. And on an inhale, we stand. Inhale. Exhale to sit. Inhale. Exhale, sit. Inhale. Exhale. If you want to hover above your chair, you can. We're at six. Counting down. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Say up. Yes, you're going to speak. You can walk around to the side of your chair. How about right side of your chair? Try to mirror your right side. That's it. Perfect. Just fix that. No, that's not what I'm going to do. Behind your chair. Which one are we going to do? The right side. <laughs> Behind your chair is what I'm like. Sorry. Okay, there we go. All right, so bend the knees, skiing, push your hips out to one side. Feel that sensation in your outer hip. Take them out to the other side. Back and forth. Should feel pretty good. And on the second side. And then take your feet out wider than your chair. Be careful if you got some sign like me. Probably better be your foot in here. And then go wide leg forward fold. Rest your hands, uh, your head on the back of your arms on the chair if you want. If you feel like you can reach all the way down to the floor, you can do that. You can reach down to the floor if that's safe for you. And I like a little tail wag, so that's legs stay straight, your pelvis moves side to side. Don't worry, you guys are in camera, so nobody can see you, only me. And then keeping your pelvis stable, you just bend one knee at a time. Sometimes pain in our outer hips, well, oftentimes, wherever we feel pain in our body is not the source of the problem. So I know outer hips are an issue for a lot of people, and it could be something with the inner thighs that's actually throwing us off. Two straight legs. Inhale, rise up. Turn, you can stay at the back of your chair. Just turn so your right leg is towards the chair. I do remember what I wanted to do. I forgot for a second. You're going to cross your left leg in front of the right leg. In here? I don't think 
Oh, that's tightrope. No, we're not doing tightrope. You're going to cross the leg all the way over. That's right. So back leg can stay straight. Your front leg has to have a soft bend. Lots of people try to get both legs straight here. It's like impossible. So don't worry about that. Let the front knee bend. And then the left arm reaches up. We're going to do side bend. You're going to lean towards your chair. And then it's okay to push your hips over to the left even. And in half moon. Deep breath in. Inhale, rise up. Let's do it on the other side. Unwind your legs. Come on over. Left foot towards the chair. Right leg all the way across. Lean towards your right. And again, if you want to get a little deeper, you push your hips over to the right. One more breath in. And out. And inhale, rise. Face your chair. And take the bottom of your foot to one of the backs of the, your chair. Does that make sense? Should be a nice calf stretch. You literally put the ball of your foot on like the leg of your chair. That's the word I'm looking for. And you just lean your hips forward. Yeah, that really works good too. <laughs> Other side. And then let's come to the left side of your chair. For forward fold, so you can take your hands down on the chair. And take your right hand over a little bit so it's right in front of your face. Deeply bend both knees. Start there. Straighten the left leg. See how straight you can get it. And then left arm is going to reach out to the side. And then just up as high as you can get it. Everybody's palms facing away from you. And if you feel like you can, you're always welcome to bring forearm to the chair. Put you a little deeper. And we'll just breathe for three. Two bent knees. Left hand goes where the right hand was. <clears throat> that left hand over right in front of your face. The left knee is deeply bent and right leg straight this time. Right arm out to the side and up as high as you can. If you want it, forearm can go on your chair. I noticed that. That was amazing. Yay. Felt good today. That's why we come in here, right? Change in our bodies. Minds, our spirits. Okay, so let's pick up left leg. Draw it in. Put that knee in, maybe a big breath in. And out. One more like that in. And out. And now draw that foot wherever you can, your pant leg, whatever it is. Foot on ankle. No, foot is on the ankle. Foot on knee. <laughs> There we go. And then you just, you can place your hand, one hand on your foot, one hand on your knee. Everybody's a little different here, right? Most important thing is stand tall. Breathing into your left hip. If you think you can keep your back straight and hinge forward, you can add the hinge, but it's not necessary. 
If you're feeling your left hip, then all you have to do is breathe one minute here. The more you can slow down your breath, the more you are letting your body relax into the posture. Traveling next week, you can do this one in the car. Yeah. Very lovely to stretch your hips. Driving. Not while you're driving. <laughs> Please no. <laughs> uh, okay, hands on your foot and knee wherever they were before. You got one minute just to settle your mind. Let your body settle. I'm trying to stay in this space without judging yourself. Nice and gently set your foot down. Put <clears throat> your arms out by your sides. Inhale to reach your arms up. And exhale, arms out and down. Inhale. Exhale out and down. One more time. Reach up. Exhale, arms out and down. And keep your hands to your lap, palms up, palms up to end class. You can stay scooted forward, or if you want to scoot back and rest on the back of your chair, your hand, wherever you feel comfortable for the most important pose of the practice, right here, final resting. Close your eyes. The only requirement here is to breathe. Let's breathe together. In through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. In through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. One more like that. In through your nose. Soft sigh. Bring your hands into your heart space. <laughs> And repeat after me. I have enough. I do enough. I am enough. 
take a moment and think of what you're grateful for today. and the library and for every single one of you that makes this class a class. Thank you for coming. My prayer is always that this practice would benefit you outside of these doors.